Hi, this is David Dusek for Golf Week. Well, it's hard to believe that three of the four major championships for 2016 are now in the rearview mirror and that the PGA Tour this week is heading to the RBC Canadian Open. It was at this event last year when Jason Day began his pretty epic run to the top of the official World Golf Rankings by getting a win at the RBC Canadian Open and following it up with a win at the PGA Championship. Statistically, Jason Day has always been an exceptionally good putter, but you can see by this chart he has gone from being a very good putter last year with a strokes gained average of .568 to this year being the very best putter statistically on the PGA Tour. In fact, his strokes gained putting right now is at 1.106. That means that he is gaining more than one full shot against the average PGA Tour player simply by how good a putter he is right now. Jason Day throughout the 2015 season and in the beginning of 2016 used a very customized, tailor-made, itsy-bitsy spider putter. It had been given a matte black finish and the alignment line had been taken off of it. But after the Masters this year at the RBC Heritage, he put a new putter into play. This is an itsy-bitsy spider that had been given a matte red finish instead of the black. Now, to create for Jason Day exactly what he wanted, TaylorMade had to take several itsy bitsy spider putters that started out white and saw off the hosel that came on the putter and then grind that down to make it completely smooth. Then all of the paint was sandblasted off of those putters and it, you, they used solder to fill in the alignment line that came in there and then everything was smoothed down again so essentially they were creating a blank chassis. After that, new hosels had to be milled and then welded into place, polished, and then the whole head had to be repolished again, primed and painted that matte red finish. Finally, a badge is applied to the bottom and then Jason Day has a request for a special insert to be put into the face and TaylorMade obviously obliged him on that as well. Taking what the company had learned from working with Jason Day, TaylorMade decided to make 15,000 Spider Limiteds available to the public. These putters are exactly like Jason Day's, they're except that they're black with red accents and they have a single uh, white alignment line running across the top. And those go for $219 each. They've decided to make a Spider Limited Red, 2,000 of those available to the public. Those go for $299 each. I'm David Dusek for Golf Week.